here's our thermostat. It's up really high. <laughs> so, um, bad use, design for a we place. Use a back scratcher to, to turn it on. And little Miss Meadow is helping. So helpful. Thank you. We've got the doors wide open. And things are just, there we go, starting up. I'll give you a tour in just a moment. So here's like the bargain books right out front. And here's where you, this is what it looks like when you come in. Oh my gosh, I have to change this room close to open. Goodness gracious. Okay, so if you take a left, here's some classics back here. And then this whole wall here is all mysteries. And then over here, oh my gosh, I think this might, this is more mysteries. And then here is our YA section, children's books, and done with mysteries. And then these are all books that we're going to be donating to the local prison. Here's just our little cart that we use to put books back. The front office area. And then here are all romances. These are more like Harvard classics and stuff, I guess. There's a lot, okay, these are definitely romance. Kind of just like big coffee table books, almanacs, more romance, more romance, more romance. And then up front here is adults only romance. So it's the spicy stuff, audiobooks, more audiobooks. And then here are more mysteries, all of our hardback mysteries, prize winners that are hardbacks. And then here's our prize winners that are paperback. These are just kind of random novels. These here are all newer books, science fiction, some more science fiction, I think. <laughs> and some more science fiction. Okay, past here we've got more random novels. And general fiction. Horror. And fantasy. I think these are all of our like Western series yeah westerns okay armchair travel um we've got some religious texts i've got a lot actually here and here and kind of craft and decorating stuff here a lot of this is just kind of, I mean, it's not completely thrown around randomly, but some stuff just doesn't know where it belongs yet, you know. And this is the view from behind the front desk area. So we've got lots of books back here as well that need to be processed and put out there. <laughs> this little back room we're gonna clear out as well and make into a, a doggy room just put up a little baby gate that way our dogs can be here with us throughout the day and they'll also of course be free to come out here we might also put a baby gate up here or something we're not really sure yet and we really want to put in wood floors but that's all you know an eventuality we've got to just clean up the cobwebs there's lots of dusting to be done. But as you can see, like there are entire shelves that are not being utilized right now. So we're gonna make sure that that changes. And then we also wanna get rid of these middle partitions here so that people have a lot more space. It's a much bigger, more open floor plan. And then anyone in wheelchairs will be able to get around a lot more easily as well. We plan on really trying to do like floor to ceiling Sorry, I guess I should have gone floor to ceiling bookshelves and then having a ladder and you know, anyone that needs something really high up, we can crawl up there for them. We might not go up that high, but you know, from here 
down. I mean, look, that's so much more space that we could be utilizing, so. And I think it would look so cool, too. Okay, so Carla wanted me to wait for her to clean and organize anything. So, while I wait for her, I am going to just go through this box of books and process them. So essentially, I go through and look at the quality of each book, look at the year that it came out, the retail price if we can find it, and um, we create a label for it um, with our prices, which of course, being that they're used books, they're much more affordable than if you were to buy them new. Look, this is just so beautiful. It's like glowing. And if we don't know anything about a specific book, uh, we just look up the title and the year it was published on our internet computer. This one's just for the cash register. And we see how much it's worth. And then depending on the quality of the book and how rare it is or not rare, we'll price it at whatever we feel is right. And on books that are nicer, we don't want to deface it in any way. So we'll just put like the barcode on a sticky note and stick it on the inside cover. Thank you. Okay, so excuse how dark it is, but this is in like the tiny little <laughs> back room that I showed you earlier. So we're just moving stuff up off the floor onto these shelves because they were not even being used. So as you can see, I'm clearing out these shelves here for all of the B authors. I'm gonna definitely need to clear all of this too, but I'm running out of room on my cart. So I guess I'll just head to the back and start scanning these in and alphabetizing them. And I'll put them away as I go. If you love David Baldacci novels, uh, we've got a lot of them, so just let us know. Hello again. So in the front of the shop, we currently have a display, but we will be replacing this with a bar. So just one long table from here to there with bar stools and then a little coffee and tea cart here. That way people can sit and read or journal or annotate their books while they have a nice little beverage and they can look out onto the park of the city. And I think that would just be really nice. I think people would love it. So we're very excited to get that installed. Today is April 25th, 2023. So we have officially had this shop now for 12 days. Carla's grandpa was just in measuring the bar area and he's currently at the lumber yard or hardwood store um, finding the perfect piece to fit. So it's happening very soon. We're so excited to get that in. That'll be a really cool um, first new feature. And then we'll move on either to the shelves or the floor. We're not sure yet. Hey, uh, back for another day in the bookshop. I wanted to show you this section here, which is supposed to be where we hold books for people, like we special order stuff, and we hold them here until the customer comes and gets them. However, that is not, that is not really what's going on here. So um, we have organized it a little bit in the past couple of weeks that we've been here, but really almost all of this can just go out into the shop in the classic section Hi, so back at the shop. 
obviously. So here is where that book display used to be. You might remember. Now we're putting in the countertop that I was telling you about. So, so here are all of the, oh my God, why can't I think of the right word? Break brackets. Break brackets. Brackets. <laughs> brackets. Um, and the wood is currently being stained and sealed, so it'll look really nice. We have been working on these mystery bags, like blind date with the book bags, and we're getting really bored with that. So now we're moving on to um, moving this and this, both of these shelves here, we're gonna consolidate and add them onto this shelf here. Mm -hmm. And then um, over here, we've got all the horror books. Oh yeah. So kind of consolidating anything. Mm -hmm. That's kind of horror adjacent here, so it's westerns, horror, um, just because we don't really want it to be next to the fantasy section. Yeah. And we just need some instant gratification right now, okay. so that's what we're we're up to. Nice. Oh. <laughs> it's like a death trap. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just remove this all together. Yeah. Oh my god, so much dust. Oh, he bent the nail. Where's that crowbar thingy? Over uh, here? yeah. Let's see. Do oh. we have a hammer here? Just let me go find a hammer. Hello, Winston. Hello, Meadow. I think he may have taken his hammer back with him. Or taking it apart, I guess, if you guys have it in you. Yeah, we, we can all just hammer it. We can, like, ape it, you know? If you want to save the wood, you can't really ape it. Uh, um, I would say this one needs to come off first, but it's got a shit ton of nails in it. Can we pry it off and then, and then like, hammer the nails out reverse style? We can take it apart, but I'm saying how much time do you want to spend here? I mean, we can do this fast, like, just roughly, and then he can come and refine it. Okay, let's try rough. Uh, not a good idea. <laughs> In the bathroom? What? No. Oh, let's no, let's bathroom. go look at the bathroom. Okay. Squirrel! <laughs> no, nobody can focus on it. <laughs> yeah. Looks so much more open, and oh then gosh. I know. Again, today marks five weeks at the shop and I am still on my alphabetizing and reorganizing grind. I will be for 
many months probably so um, I'm currently in the hardback mystery section and as you can see over in this corner I've got a stack of books here that still need to be sorted some of these books are also mystery hardbacks but are not in the proper place so I emptied out this shelf and I'm gonna wipe it down obviously because it's looking a little grubby but originally this had prize winning novels in it so I just moved them over still have a little left to do here but this is the general fiction section that I was working on yesterday and it's really coming along I don't know why I didn't just finish putting those right in the E section, but I was getting bored and wanted to move over to the mysteries. So I'll pop back over there in a little bit, but um, it's just the way my mind works. I'm like a pinball machine. Hi, okay, so I meant to finish this video yesterday, but totally forgot. So I'm just gonna show you the progress. I feel like I haven't really made much progress in the mystery section, but I'm gonna show it to you. So here's the mystery area, do, 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 do. I've put now books up here, starting with A, come around, la 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 la, the C's go through here, and then back again here, la 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 la, sorry if that made anyone dizzy, so I'm just making more and more room here so that I can get all of these books up off of the floor, and I think I'm gonna actually do it, I think it's gonna be successful, I'm very excited, it's time for final little tour of where we're at now. There have been quite a few changes, so I'm excited for you to see, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Don't think that this is where it's going to be for very long. Meadow, can you take us on a tour of the shop, please? Go on then, show us around. Yeah, where are the craft books? Okay. Well, that wasn't very helpful. You're fired. I'm just kidding. All right, so here, of course, are the front doors. And just like in the beginning of the video, this is still the mystery section, and it's still here and here. But as you can see, these shelves here are now empty. Well, except for this weird little section for some reason. But behind here are actually windows. So we're thinking it'll be really cool to remove these, let in a bunch of natural light and have little like seating area. This is the kids section. So we would love to have a little kids corner. And then here's YA still. We haven't done anything with this part yet. So here now is our poetry and just, I mean, this is primarily poetry, but I think there are a few short stories in here too. And then like little gifty cutesy books with like quotes and stuff. And then the new times, which we get delivered each week. The desk is once again covered in things. These I pulled from the mystery hardback section today because they were duplicates. So um, I'm just gonna keep them somewhere in the back and then whenever one of them gets sold, I'll go replace it back on the shelf. And we're still working on consolidating the romance section. We really want it to just be this and this, but there are still a few around the corner here. I don't know if I would call this a few, it's quite a lot. All of these, and then everything that's stacked horizontally on this shelf are all romance. What are you doing, baby? What's up? These are novels, but a lot of them kind of fall under the romance category as well, so I don't know what we're gonna do about that right now. Anyway, back up to the front real quick. As I mentioned earlier, I put more mystery novels up here. So they go all the way around like so. And there's nothing left on the floor. And now we have an empty shelf here to utilize. So this will be really good. I'd like to get more classics put up here and then actually organize the classics by alphabetical order because we haven't been able to do that yet. Um, oh my gosh, and more romance are here as well. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with these either. All right, and now back through here again. Now this section is more sci-fi and fantasy, but here's the entire sci-fi fantasy shelf slash wall, basically. This also is not yet alphabetized, so that'll be really good to go through and do. Now you might be wondering, well, what's going on with this? Mm, 
I would like to say, not quite sure. I'm right there with ya. I mean, a lot of these are jokey books. So we'll have a joke section. We have a small joke section right now. There's not enough room for them at the moment. So anyway, some of these are just like new-ish or cute, or we just couldn't find any other place for them for the time being. <laughs> so there's that. And then, voila, our counter. Sorry about the lighting, it's kind of terrible. Um, considering it's backlit, but um, we have these cute little chairs. They're temporary. We'll have different stools in here at another time, but um, they're Carla's mom's, and so it's really nice of her to lend them to us for the time being. So basically, we're using the counter right now as a display case, essentially, but I want to declutter it a bit so that people can actually sit. So these spaces are a little more cleared off, but there's still some work to do with that. Okay, and now to more general fiction, which I was so proud of for getting done. It's all in perfect alphabetical order. I love it. And then I just completely forgot about these things. So they were not included in the alphabetization here, obviously. And I just don't think there's enough room. And then, of course, there's also all of these, too, which I also forgot about. But it is nice that this there's so much room left in this section, so we might... Maybe we'll kind of go doot 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 and then around, sort of like what I did with the mysteries. I'm not really sure yet. Anyhow, westerns. Westerns? Yeah. Yeah, some of these are westerns, and then we go into horror and then self-help. I feel like having horror next to self-help is not the best, so <laughs> we'll figure out what to do with that. The self-help section used to be right next to our war biographies, but I almost feel like having it next to horror is even worse, so um, that'll get fixed soon. These are all biographies and non-fiction. And there are more biographies here. There's also lots of political writing that we have here. These shelves we're trying to get rid of. Preferably someone will come in and take them for free. Here again is the section that's considered almost classics. I would like to combine these just with the classics and have them all in one spot. And now here is like a bunch of war related fiction. What is this? Oh, this is more westerns. Fantastic. More war slash military fiction. And then we get to, this is some non-fiction. And yeah, this looks like also some more non-fiction stuff. War related. Christian romance for those of you that are romantic Christians. You know, we have a lot of people ask who's into Christian romance and stuff, but actually, they're just kind of wholesome romance stories. I haven't read any, to be perfectly honest, but they're like kiss-only romances, so nothing spicy. It's all just very much focused on like the love and the relationships, just for those of you who were curious about that. And from Christian romance, we go to historical fiction. This all needs to be organized as well, and so it goes all the way back to here. So this is all historical fiction, and it all needs to be alphabetized, so I'm sure I'll be working on that next week. And then down here is just kind of random stuff. So we've got like math and health and word finders, social media marketing, business law, SAT prep. Um, so that'll be really, really fun to organize and put into categories. We have business, politics, sports, and et cetera, basically down here. A lot of this is like spirituality. Oh, I know I've already shown you a lot of this, but sorry um, if I'm repeating myself too much. Um, we've done nothing with this back area, so it's all the same since the beginning of the video, the only thing, okay, to be fair, the only thing we've changed is that we've put all of our animal related books up top just for the time being. It will not be like that forever, I promise. 
and then the little travel corner again haven't done anything to this yet and that is that just give you another little overview this middle section we still haven't reorganized but we want to get rid of it soon this is usually outside of course as is the dollar book cart here um I can't remember if I showed you this or not already. So this is where the classics all used to be. There's still all of these, of course, but it's so nice just having this extra bit of light come in. And remember how in the beginning of the video I had these all vertical and I was alphabetizing? Yeah, that was a waste of time. And I don't think I showed this at the beginning of the video either, but we do have cookbooks as well. So we've got this shelf, this shelf, this shelf, and this shelf. The goal, of course, is to have them all in one spot, and we will get there, but <sighs> just one thing at a time, you know? It's a lot. There are a lot of books. <laughs> and back in the office area, if you can even call it that, we have all of these still, these bins full that need to be gone through and sorted and or donated. Most everything in this bin um, we already have out on the shelves, so we use a lot of our duplicates for our mystery bags. So we've got this big bin full of mystery bags just prepped and ready to go. And then these are all things that have been priced and are ready to go out onto the floor. Don't mind the baby gate, this is just to keep the dogs back here. No doggies in the shop at the moment. And just, just some extra stuff. Don't worry, this isn't a toilet brush, it's a duster. <laughs> And then of course, more books here. And here, we're going to be getting rid of this shelf soon, but right now just so much stuff is packed up on top of it. The hold area is sort of coming along. These are all, okay, so these are all holds. These still need to be processed and put out on the floor. These are some bowls Carla got us. In one of our TikTok videos, Carla showed us putting this shelf in here, so. That's at least looking nice. It's organized. Well, sort of, not really. Okay, not organized, but it's not chaotic entirely. Stuff is up on the shelves at the very least, except for these crates. Just don't even pay attention to those right now, please. All right, friends, that is that. Thank you so much for watching this first video. I'm excited to show you more of the renovations, us like building and cleaning and all that good stuff. As I've been filming throughout the weeks, I've been thinking more and more about what I'm going to focus on filming for upcoming videos and how I can get better at um, this vlogging thing. So thanks for bearing with me for this first video. I know it was kind of all over the place, but it will get better as time goes on, as will the shop, as will I at talking to the camera. And in future videos, Carla will be in more of them. This time around, I feel like she was mostly just in time lapses and stuff, but you'll get to see her in more of the upcoming videos and get to know her personality a little bit more. If you have any questions for both of us or either of us, just leave them down in the comments and we'll respond to them in the next video. We can do maybe a little sit down Q&A segment or something. And if any of you are interested in supporting us, but you don't live close by so you can't shop here, we do have an Amazon wish list. So you can either buy us stuff just as a gift, or we can do an exchange in which we put together a box of books for you that comes out to be the same amount of um, what you purchased for us. And we can send you that box of books. If you just let us know what your favorite genres or authors are, even if there are specific titles you'd like for us to keep an eye out for, we will do anything we can to help you out. We don't mind shipping stuff out to you, you know, you gotta pay for shipping, but we ha actually have already sent a couple of book boxes across the country, so that's been really cool. And of course, if you don't wanna buy anything off of Amazon, but um, you want a box of books, you can feel free to let us know. You can DM us on TikTok or on Instagram. I'll leave links down in the description box below, of course. We love putting together the boxes of books, honestly, and sending them out, and it's really exciting. In your box of books, we also like to include a little note card from us thanking you for your support. If that sounds at all like something you would like, just let us know. Well, I think that's everything I had to say. So thank you so much for hanging out and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.